Welcome. In this video walkthrough, we will use Mimic's imprint to create a patient-specific 3D printable model of a renal carcinoma. First, we'll use the thresholding tool to choose an appropriate range of Hounsfield units to capture the renal arteries. You can rename your region of interest and select a preferred color to correspond with the anatomy. I'd also recommend adjusting the crop box to help isolate the renal arteries from the rest of the dataset. To do this, simply drag the colored box in your planar views. The 3D preview will update in real time with your changes. You can check the boxes for keep largest region and fill holes to further optimize your initial segmentation. You'll notice the spine is still attached to the aorta. To remove this, we will use the split mask tool to mark the aorta in the foreground and the spine in the background. If you have unwanted areas still remaining, we can quickly erase them using the lasso tool in 3D. As a last step in the segmentation process, we can perform an isolate operation to ensure that we remove any noise artifacts or extra shells from our model. After finishing our segmentation of the arteries, we will segment the renal parenchyma in a new region of interest by returning to the thresholding tool in the first step and performing a similar workflow as before. After thresholding, we will use the split tool to help isolate the kidney. Now that we have the kidney isolated, let's add the renal tumor by using the 3D interpolate tool. I chose this tool instead of thresholding because the tumor has a relatively regular shape and less contrast enhancement than the kidney and arteries did. If you prefer, you can turn the automatic interpolation off and begin outlining the tumor margins with either the brush or lasso. You'll notice I'm skipping every couple slices since we will be interpolating between them to help us save time on our segmentation. You can also make your markings on any plane that you wish. But once your markings are complete, click on the interpolate button, choose your threshold range, making adjustments to your markings at any point if necessary. And if you do need to make any adjustments, just be sure to re-click the interpolate button afterwards to apply the changes. Once satisfied, click on the green check mark and rename and recolor your segmentation as needed. With that complete, we can now visualize all the regions of interest together. And with the segmentation process complete, we'll move on to the next step, which is to convert the segmentation into a 3D printable part. With the parts calculated, we can perform a smooth operation to obtain a higher quality model. Now in order to better visualize the internal relationship of the renal arteries and tumor, we can hollow the kidney to the inside a user specified thickness. And once the kidney is hollowed, we can then cut the kidney open using the cut tool. To obtain even more anatomical information on in our model, we'll copy paste the collector ducts and renal veins that were segmented from a venous phase image series into our current project. Next, we'll add a label to our model for traceability back to the correct patient. It's also important to run each part through the repair tool to ensure we export a printable file. And then lastly, we'll export a multicolor file that's ready to be 3D printed 